Right, here's the question. There are 10 pens in a box. X of those pens are red, all the others are blue. Jack takes two pens from the box at random. What's the probability that Jack takes one pen of each color? Okay. Right, where should we start? Reaching into something and grabbing two things at random is the same as reaching in, grabbing one thing, leaving it out, and then reaching in and grabbing another, okay? So that's important. We're going to use that because it means that this question is a probability without replacement question, okay? Probability without replacement. Okay, so the way to do this is to draw out a probability tree. So let's do that. So we have, make that a bit bigger. There's our tree, okay. So you can choose either a red pen or a blue pen. So let's have, uh, well, it's color coordinate like this, why not? Let's have a red pen here, then a red there, and blue here. Blue there, red there, blue there. Okay, so, like I said, Reaching in and grabbing two pens at once, okay, is exactly the same as reaching into the box and grabbing the first pen and then leaving it out, then reaching in again and grabbing the second pen, okay? So we're going to treat it like the first pick and then the second pick, but we're not putting the first pick back. It's probability without replacing. We're not replacing that first pick. So. With the first pick, that's this one here, he can either pick red or blue. And then with the second pick, he can again pick either red or blue, or red or blue, whether he's chosen red or blue the first time or not. Okay. So we need to fill in values on each of these branches. That's our next step. So with his first pick, what's the probability, what's gonna go there, that he chooses a red pen? Well, there are 10 pens in the box, so it's going to be out of 10. And how many red pens are there? There are X red pens in the box. Okay, so with his first pick, he's got an X in 10 chance of picking a red pen. With his first pick, what's his chance of picking a blue pen? Well, there are 10 pens in the box, so it's going to be out of 10. How many blue pens are there? There are 10 pens in total, and X of them are red, and all other are blue. That means there must be 10 minus X blue pens in the box initially. Okay? If there's 10 in total, and X of them are red, then 10 minus X are blue. So, with his first pick, the probability of picking a blue pen is 10 minus x out of a total of 10. Right, second pick here to start off with. What's the probability of him picking a red pen with his second pick, given that he's already chosen a red pen? Remember, this is probability without replacement. The fact that he's already chosen a red pen will affect this probability here. And it does so like this. He's already chosen a red pen, which means one of the pens, he hasn't replaced it, it's without replacement. There are only nine pens left, so it's gonna be out of nine. And he's already chosen a red pen. 
that's out of the box. So there are one fewer red pens in the box. There were X red pens initially, so there must now be X minus one red pens in the box. So if he chose a red pen with his first pick, probability of choosing a red pen again is X minus one out of nine. Right, second pick, what's the probability of choosing a blue pen with his second pick given that he already chose a red pen? Again, it's out of nine because that red pen was not replaced. There's one fewer in total. How many blue pens are in the box at this point here? We well, he chose a red pen initially, so the number of blue pens hasn't changed. It's still 10 minus X. So that's 10 minus X. Okay. Good. Now, what's going to go here? Probability of choosing a red pen given he's already picked a blue. Well, again, it's out of nine because it's probability of that replacement. There's one fewer pens. Or is it one less pens? One less pens. No, it's fewer, isn't it? Because it's uh, plural. Anyway, one fewer pens. It's out of nine. Now, he's already chosen a blue pen. So there are 10 minus X blue pens initially, but he's reduced that number by one. So there are now 10 minus X minus one pen blue pens in the box which is 10 minus one is nine minus X, okay? So there are now nine minus X Should go there, shouldn't it? Sorry, it should go. I was fixated on blue pens. Okay, right, so for some reason I'm doing this one before that one, but let's do it that way. He's already chosen a blue pen, so how many blue pens are left in the box? There were 10 minus X blue pens initially, so now there's 10 minus X minus one blue pens. There are now nine minus X blue pens in the box if you've already chosen a blue pen. So the probability of choosing another blue pen is nine minus X over nine. Okay. Again, it's, this is gonna be out of nine because it's without replacement. How many red pens are left in the box given that you already chose a blue? You started out with X red pens. If you've already chosen a blue, there are still X red pens in the box. Okay? So we've completed the uh, tree diagram initially. We filled in all the probabilities. Now, what you have to do to find the probability of each branch is you multiply those probabilities. The probability of choosing a red, then a red, is equal to that probability times that. So, red times red is the probability of this branch is x over 10 times x minus 1 over 9. Just to be clear, I'm going to put that in brackets. Okay? Which is, I'm not going to bother to multiply it out yet. That will come later. Multiply out the bracket, that is. That's x times x minus 1, all over 10 times 9 is 90. So that's the probability of choosing a red and then another red. Probability of choosing a red then a blue is that times that, which is x, well, it's going to be 10 times 9 on the bottom, so it's all going to be over 90, okay? On the top, it's going to be x times 10 minus x, okay? 
Right, probability of choosing blue, then a red. It's that times that. Well, on the bottom, it's 10 times 9, so it's 90 again. On the top, it's that times that, which is... I'll write the smaller one first. That times that is the same as that times that, which is x times 10 minus x. Okay. Right, probability of choosing blue then a blue is that times that. On the bottom it's 10 times 9, which is 90. On the top it's 10 minus x times 9 minus x. Okay. So we've got our four probabilities of the, the probabilities going down each of the four different branches. Right, back to the question. What's the probability that Jack takes one pen of each colour? Right, so there's four possible outcomes. How many of those outcomes correspond to what they're asking? Right, one pen of each colour. That means one red pen and one blue pen. Okay, one pen of each colour. So, a red pen, then a blue pen, this branch qualifies, okay? A blue pen, then a red pen, that also gets you one pen of each colour. Okay? Blue, then blue, no, that's two blue pens, so we can discount that one. Red, then red, no, that's two red pens, we can discount that one. So, there are two branches that fit our conditions. How do you work out the probability of either this branch happening or this branch out of the whole thing? You add probabilities. Probability of something happening or something else happening means you add. Okay, so, the final answer, the probability that Jack takes one pen of each colour is equal to that plus that. Which is x times 10 minus x over 90 plus that. Which is, as it happens, exactly the same thing. 10 minus x over 90. Okay? So these two are identical. So it's like P plus P, if you like. P plus P is 2P. So I'm going to rewrite that as two of them. 2X times 10 minus X over 90. Okay? Right, we've just got to simplify it now. Let's multiply out the bracket. 2x times 10 is 20x. Two 2x two times minus x is minus 2x squared. All over 90. Okay, and that equals. It might have been better to cancel here before multiplying out the bracket. That, that's probably the slightly better route to go down, but this isn't the end of the world. Okay, so we notice that 20, 2 and 90 are all even. So this is the same as 20x over 90. So 20x over 90 minus 2x squared over 90. The 90 is dividing that term and that term individually. So we can simplify. 20 over 90 is the same as 10 over 45. 2 over 90 is the same as 1 over 45. So this whole thing, we're just going to divide that, that and that by 2. It becomes 10x minus x squared all over 45. 
That is the final answer. 10x minus x squared all over 45 is the probability of choosing two pens of different colours.